Hop aboard and leave your wallet at home. City Councilman and Carta Board Chairman Mike Seekings is back to tell us more about a special offer during the month of May. The, the best price I can think of is free. Right. So tell us more about this free no, May business. No Pay May is something that we've come up with through the board and our staff at Carta to really give back to the community, to give back to our riders who have been loyal to us over a long time and through some pretty, pretty tough times yeah. and to introduce the system to people who otherwise might not think about Carta. So what better way than to offer when the doors open, come on, ride for free yeah. for the entire month, learn our system, learn about who we are and who we're going to be and we're hoping that we can really open up and expand our ridership and again give back to those who've been riding with us for, for all these years. And you need to too, right, because we've got so many more people now living in the Charleston area. It's just exploded oh. in the last few years. So you need to alleviate some of the traffic gridlock that we've been experiencing. Well, you look at those census numbers. I mean, we have it just in Charleston yeah. alone grown 25% in the last 10 years. And That's if exponential. You, it is exponential. If you look at the infrastructure, it probably hasn't grown 25% along with it. And if yeah. you keep projecting out, I mean, this region is going to be over a million people by the time they start counting again. No and kidding. we just can't pave and build our way out of those things. So mm -hmm. transit and transit functions. It's just something that's really important and we at Carter take it very seriously. We want to make sure that people know we're out there. We want to make sure we put the best product that we possibly can for our ridership out there and giving a month for free yeah. is really a way to you know, be to advertise who we are. How are you able to do that though? I mean, well, it's, yeah, obviously yeah. it takes a lot of good planning. We have a really excellent staff and an incredibly committed board and yeah. we have for the last five or six years since I've been chairman really focused on getting our financial house in order, mm. replacing, our, replacing our fleet. You may remember we've talked about oh, this yes. before. Yeah. We were operating the oldest fleet of buses in America until very recently. We now have 20 <laughs> brand new battery electric Wow. buses on the street. We've got 20 more coming this year. They look oh, nice too. They're, they're great and yeah. we've really worked hard to, to look and work with the federal government and, and, and get grant money. So, so we, we're doing well. The monies that we get by and large in transit are dollars that are collected from taxpayers. Right. What better way to give it back than to say here's the money. We're putting yeah. it right there on the street. You can come ride for free with the monies that somewhere along the line yeah. made it into some government coffer and back now. That's a great call. attitude to have towards us taxpayers. Yeah. So thank you. Right. <laughs> And you too, you're, you're one yourself. So, That's right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in terms of routes, so do we have more routes these days than ever before? So, again, we've, we've really focused on the customer experience and making sure that we get people to where they're going on time and as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. We haven't expanded and added a lot of routes, particularly because COVID really. Really yeah, that's true, yeah. sort of hit us and everybody else. But what we have done is focus on the routes that we've got, try to increase the frequency, mm -hmm. again, put the more modern buses out there with the internet, letting people see on a transit app where they're going, give them options on how to pay. Yeah. And as we grow, we will certainly look at expanding our routing now that we've got the equipment to do it. I mean, the worst sure. thing we could do is add routes and not have equipment to put there, right? Well, of course, yeah. So yeah. the equipment now is, is coming. Uh, it's, it's on the lot. And by the end of 2022, we should be in a place where we can expand our routing. OK, oh, that's good to hear. Yeah. That's good to hear. So this uh, no pay May, it is current and it's going through May 31st. And then once June 1st comes around, how much do we have to pay? Back to two dollars. Back to two dollars. <laughs> not bad. No, it's not going to break bad. the bank. No. And we we hope during this no pay May, for those of you that haven't ridden with us before, you'll like the experience, you'll see the advantages of using public transit in Carta. Come on and, uh, you know, so for this month, leave your $2 at home, be adventurous, come ride our system. Come aboard, everybody. Thank That's you so right. much, Councilman. Appreciate your time. We're back after this.